Hey guys, welcome to another video. So many of you are aware that Assassin's Creed Empire was leaked, or allegedly leaked, a few days ago, maybe two days ago, I don't know, I can't remember how long ago it was, it was only a few days, it was a matter of about 48 hours or less. But I have a list of things that I would like to see in a game set in ancient Egypt, which is where Assassin's Creed Empire is allegedly set. So I think we're going to get started with this list of what I want to see in Assassin's Creed Empire. At the top of my list is the combat, so I would like to see fast paced combat like Assassin's Creed Syndicates, which is straightforward, that can be challenging but never impossible, because sometimes in Assassin's Creed Unity and Syndicate there are fights that are absolutely impossible, especially when you're a low level. I don't mind levelling up to make fights easier, but I don't like it when a fight's impossible. Nothing should be impossible because after all you are a badass assassin and they are just leveled guards, aren't they? So the leveling system should be a bit easier on the character, though I don't mind a challenge, I just would rather nothing be impossible but things be difficult, you know what I mean? What's next is like the exploration of like crypts from Assassin's Creed 2 through to uh, Brotherhood and sometimes in Revelations as well. So two Brotherhood and Revelations had like the little exploration of Assassin's Crypts. Now I'd like to see a similar thing but inside the pyramids and in tombs like that because the pyramids do have entrances and all that stuff. It's probably somewhere and as far as I'm aware they have interiors. So yeah that would be pretty cool to see the interior of those explored in little parkour sequences and little platformer events. But please don't make them timed because that's just that was just tedious in Assassin's Creed 2 through in Brotherhood and in Revelations as well it was really 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 tedious when they had, like, you ran out of time just before you got there so I'd like to see some really beautiful interiors to the pyramids though with a little bit of a mission and some reward at the end as well that'll be pretty cool next up I want to talk about cities now many people are like I don't want to see Egypt because it's all desert and stuff and there's no buildings to climb they, they somehow forget that Cairo and Alexandria exist. I would personally like to see both cities, but I have a theory that they put one in there, and I doubt it's going to be like Alexandria, because they'll go with the capital city, which is Cairo, which is quite iconic. Now, the buildings in Cairo would have been quite compact back then. Uh, they would have had these the small little heart-like buildings. It would have been very similar to Jerusalem, maybe not quite that advanced. Um, maybe even more advanced because we don't, we, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not an expert on ancient history, but it would be cool to see, like, Cairo, Next Gen Glory, it'll basically be like what Assassin's Creed 1 would look like had it been released in more recent years than 2007, it would, dust coming off the ground and all that, diverse crowds, walking through markets, swearing at each other, stabbing each other, murders happening galore, people being arrested and stabbed for no reason, people being beaten to death, you know, people being burned at the start, I, I, I'm gonna shut up now and just say that oh, I like to see he's very, I like to see a very vibrant city and that sort of paints the era well like most Assassin's Creed cities tend to do, besides from Assassin's Creed 3 and, and Unity's to be fair because they just they didn't do it very well, but other than that, the rest of them, they painted the cities fairly well, and I would like to see um, the same happen in Assassin's Creed Empire, if it is actually a thing. And I'd like to see the city sort of, you know, it's very, very diverse. I'd, like to, I'd definitely want to see Cairo, but I wouldn't mind seeing Alexandria too, so yeah, maybe that would be quite cool if they put in two cities again, that would be amazing. And then you have the massive desert as well as another open world area where you can like run around uh, on a, on your horse because they're implementing horses hopefully uh, apparently according to the uh, re the four champ post so on your horse and all that stuff you get to explore Cairo and hopefully on your horse there as well and hopefully Alexandria and maybe even around the pyramid area though I, I can't see they're waiting very much to do in the desert to be fair. The next thing on my list is fun and diverse side missions like you have in Assassin's Creed Syndicate and Unity to some extent as well, where you like liberate slaves because apparently you, it's in a time of massive slavery in Egypt when ancient Egypt, but slavery, <laughs> they love it, they loved it because they're all dead now, but you, you know what I mean. So liberating slaves, exploring pyramids like I mentioned before as like my second point. Uh, horse racing and like chariots and stuff, they, 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 they did like a little bit of sport I reckon, 
all ancient cultures did because yeah the, i'm the expert 10 out of 10 rate me anytime you like please don't correct me and assassinations because assassinations you're an assassin so assassinations are in fact necessary otherwise it doesn't make any sense also bounty hunts could play a massive like part in it because there would have been a lot of wanted criminals and stuff and that would be really cool as well and other stuff i have no idea what to talk about yeah that, that stuff is good um so yeah that's those like those are only a few of the ideas of side missions that would be quite fun to do like little things where you help people out by getting apples would be quite fun as well for no reason collectibles uh lots and lots of collectibles that would be really really fun if you have like a collectible every few houses that would be that would be quite cool and it would take a while and it would make live streaming so much longer and it would give me a lot to stream so that would be something i'd be interested in having assassin's creed syndicate had a lot of collectibles and i'd like to see it's similar density as that but that yeah i'd, I'd, I'd say it's about that i'll be cool but on a larger map so more collectibles in total which takes longer to collect which will be quite fun and a lot of hours killed just live streaming playing the game that'll be quite fun so yeah i'd like that in the leak the person or the alleged leak on 4chan the person mentioned that they're revamping the series now i really really hope that they stick with a gameplay engine that they've already used like the one they used for syndicate something similar to that just with less bugs more refined that'll be fine don't tr maybe like redo the combat in like the witcher way like they said but don't change the bare basics i don't want that because and I'm sure many people don't want that because the engine for Syndicate was pretty decent, a bit clunky in places, but again, that's that's with every Assassin's Creed engine. But hopefully, with a, with the, if they use a similar engine to one they've already used, they won't balls it up because, for, 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 but um, like from the in the opinion of many people, every time Ubisoft changes the engine of a game, the game just goes testicles to the sky it it's it yeah it's better if they try to stick with an engine they've already used and work on that engine like i wouldn't mind seeing the combat change up a little bit the combat's not a key like point to the engine but i want the like the bare basics to stay the same otherwise i feel as if it's gonna be buggier than a buggier than a wasp nest or whatever but yeah yeah you know what i mean now, my last point was about the game engine. Now, I'd like to see a little bit of an addition to this engine, which is something that most games lack, and in Assassin's Creed, I haven't really seen it ever before, which is terrain considerate combat force slash par parkour. So, depending on like the angle, your co your movements, I, I, I use the word parkour very loosely. I mean movement in any way whatsoever. That's not parkour, but I mean, let's just change that to movement. So, combat, movement, and all that stuff. Um, depending on the angle, I'd like to see um, the character move differently. Like, I know that if you run up a slope in um, Assassin's Creed 3 or when it's snowing, then you'll 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 you'll, you'll trudge through the snow very slowly, and I think that's pretty good. But with the sand, there'll be dunes and all that, and combat on those dunes and all that. I'd like to see kill moves specific to angles, so you don't get this clunky, lucky, buggy, really bad-looking kill move. Where you're supposed to be stabbing someone through the face, but actually you stab them through the penis. I like to see moves that are sort of appropriate to, like the terrain, because that would, that would really make it'll make it'll make the game feel more fluid and less. That would be one less glitch to worry about. I know it's not very much, but it it's definitely something worth thinking about. Story-wise, I'm not really that fussed as long as it's got a decent character who has funny moments and serious moments, emotional moments, and can make and all them at one, and other characters that you can like, and a story that's actually worth what like playing for and all all and it feels worth it, then I'm not really fussed on that area really. But I would like to see this game set up a sequel for the main protagonist. That would be pretty cool. Finally, my final point is unique mission objectives, so missions that have unique objectives, so it's not just kill this person, tail this person, eavesdrop, all that stuff. I like to see missions that have a very unique spin on them, like other missions don't have, and that'll be pretty cool. 
as well to have. There's not much I can adapt on that. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, comment, tell your friends about the channel as always. And I will see you all in the next one with another video. So subscribe and help us hit 3,000 subscribers before the end of the year, uh, which is 2016. So thanks for guys. Like, subscribe, share, comment, like I said before. So, yeah.